Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be taking a look at something that necessarily isn't virtualization, but may be helpful in some of your virtualization projects. We're going to be doing said project in a couple of containers that I've pre-set up on Proxmox, but you could do this for Proxmox or any other Linux operating system that has a Debian base. So with that, you may suggest from the logoing on screen, we're going to take a look at Google Authenticator and Google Authenticator's PAM client. So let's get on with this video and learn how to install TOTP on a Debian based operating system. So I have two identical Proxmox containers right here and they've both been set up with user accounts and fully updated. So let's go ahead, log into each one of them, and then we can take a look at actually how to install Google's PAM onto this and set this up so we can use some TOTP authentication app to authenticate or to add an extra layer of authentication to an SSH login. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is log in here. And both of these were set up with user accounts of VE. So let's go ahead and log into each one of them. With both of them logged in, you can notice I've titled them on how I'm going to be using them. So the one here on the left-hand side will be the one that we're actually going to install Google Authenticator PAM into. And the one here on the right is the one that we'll SSH with just so we can take a look and make sure everything's working and make it so I can demo this. There will be a few parts of this video not shown. I'll be using LastPass's TOTP authenticator on my phone for that part. And due to the fact that it's a little difficult to show my phone screen and I have personal data in there, I won't be showing that part of the setup. TOTP authenticator setup is pretty straightforward and there's many other videos on the internet about that. So you'll be able to apply everything here with that feature to set up your own authenticator. There's also great authenticators from Google and Microsoft and many other providers. So you don't have to use LastPass. I know a lot of you don't like LastPass and personally I'm on a fence, but it's on my phone. So so that's what I've been using. Both of these were set up with DHCP. So let's go ahead and identify the address of both containers so that we have it. And you'll probably see me do this a few times throughout the video. So one's 211 and one's 212. Now let's just go ahead and do a quick SSH in, make sure everything's working. In case we have problems later on down the road, we know when we started everything was working. So to establish an SSH connection to this system, we're gonna type SSH, the username, which was VE, and then an at symbol and the IP address of the container. And that in this case, it's going to be 192, 168 to 11. So let me go ahead and enter that and we can see what happens. Pressing enter, you can see that we have not connected to this system before and it wants to save the fingerprint of the system. We can say, yes, we know this and it's secure. And then it's going to want the system password. Entering the system password, you can see that we have indeed logged into the system here on the left and we are able to start doing things on it. So we were able to successfully establish an SSH connection to the system here on the left, which means that everything right now is up and working and we're going to just exit out of this for the time being and start configuring the system here on the left so that we can use Google's PAM authenticator and not the default PAM authentication process that comes with Ubuntu 22.04 in this case and other Ubuntu operating systems. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is issue a command that's going to install the Google Authenticator app, which is going to be this command right here. And fear not, as I paste these in, we will provide these commands to you in the comments section and maybe also in a website article, depending on what my workload looks like at this time. Pressing enter, we're asked to enter our password because we're using sudo and the installation process happens. Now we're going to need to run a command called Google Authenticator. What this is going 
to do is it's going to create your systems secret key that authenticator is going to use later on to generate the TOTP code that you will enter. So let's paste that in here. It's going to ask if we want to create the authentication code to be time-based and we're going to say yes because TOTP is time-based and it's going to go ahead and generate this code. Now you can see that it generated some form of giant QR code, you're going to need to be able to display that, or it gives you the secret code here that you can enter. Now it's going to ask you to enter the code from your app. So what you're going to need to do is open whatever app you're using on your phone. In my case, I'm using LastPass, as I said before, and then you're going to want to either enter your secret code or the QR symbol. And you can see that I've had to make the screen somewhat bigger so I can better see the QR code. And I'm going to scan that QR code. Once we've scanned the QR code, it'll give us a system code. And I'm going to let the time reset here because it's counting down quickly. And then I'll enter it. And if everything went and okay, we will find that we can move on. And everything went correct, so it has allowed us to move on here. So the next question is going to ask if we want to update the .google authenticator app and we're going to go ahead and enter Y for yes and press enter. Now it's going to ask us if we want to be able to use multiple authentication codes that are similar and this is really kind of bad practice because what it can allow is somebody to network capture this and then log in with that information. So I'm going to go ahead and say no and press enter. And for this one, I'm going to hit yes and enter. And this is warning you that this won't stop if you're not using something like brute force or something because it can make multiple login attempts and we'll tell it, yes, we want rate limit that, which will slow things down and make it a lot harder for a brute force attack to happen. Remember, we're actually installing and setting up a new authentication system. So this system is similar to the login system that you would use if you normally log into Linux. It's called PAM. And what this is doing is replacing that with Google's own, which is allowing us to add a, another layer of protection. So not only now do you need to know your password, but you need to know a login code. And now we're going to configure SSH to use this new PAM instance that we set up so that when we SSH in, we can use it. So if I did an SSH here onto this server right now, you can see that it's asking for our password and it's letting us in. So we still don't have two-factor set up yet. So the first step to start configuring this system to use the new authenticator we just installed is going to be to use some form of text editor, whether it's Vim or Nano, to edit a configuration file. We are going to use Nano today just because I'm a little more comfortable and I find most beginners are more comfortable with it. So here's the file we're going to configure. And as I mentioned before, we're going to put this stuff in the comments below. But the file is sshd. Uh, underscore config and we're going to be able to press enter and that's going to let us in. Now we're going to need to scroll down through here and change a few lines. So the first one we're going to be looking for is use PAM. So let's scroll down, see if we can find it and make any necessary changes that we need to. In order to scroll through this file, I'm just using the up and down arrows so I can look through it. So here's our use PAM and Right above it is the line we're actually looking for, this KBD line right here. And we're going to need to change that from no to yes. And now we're going to go ahead and close this file by hitting Control X, Y, and Enter. And we need to edit another PAM SSHD config file. So let's copy in that link right here. And we're going to press Enter. And in this one, we're looking for something called include comment 
off and here's the include comment off and right under that we're going to hit enter a few times to create a couple new lines and then we're going to copy in two lines of code one's going to be a co uh, comment so we know what's going on and the other one is going to give us directions to use the new google authenticators pam account that we created a few minutes ago so with that pasted in we're going to hit Control X and Y and Enter to save. And then we're going to restart SSH with a system CTL restart SSH command right here. And now we should have restarted SSH. We can do, and after we do the restart, we could do a, a status command. And what that'll show us is if there was any errors in restarting, and it'll show us that it is up and running and active at the moment. To get out of this, because it, you kind of stay stuck here, you're gonna press Control C, and that'll return you back to the command line. Now let's go ahead and go over to our new SSH system and see what it looks like when we try logging in. So I'm pressing the up arrow, which is going to give us our previous run command, and I'm pressing Enter. Now it's asking for our password. We're entering our password and it's asking for our verification code. So let's go ahead and enter that. Press enter and you can see we logged in. So that's the process of setting up Google's PAM Authenticator on a Linux or Debian based Linux system. I hope you enjoyed this and you're able to start applying this to whether it's your Proxmox system or any of your other containers or VMs that might have SSH exposed to the outside world. There's other SSH level security measures you can take, but this is a definitely a good one, which will help harden your SSH security against any possible threats. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help us continue to grow, and have a good night.